Welcome to a journey through time and wonder, as we explore the seven ancient wonders of the world. These architectural masterpieces, born out of human ingenuity, creativity, and perseverance, have captured our imaginations for centuries. They represent the pinnacle of human achievement in the ancient world, each with its unique story etched in the annals of history. Our odyssey will take us to the towering heights of the Great Pyramid of Giza, the verdant terraces of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, the imposing statue of Zeus at Olympia, the splendid temple of Artemis at Ephesus, the grand mausoleum at Halicarnassus, the colossal figure of the Colossus of Rhodes, and the brilliant beacon of the Lighthouse of Alexandria. These wonders, though mostly lost to the sands of time, continue to inspire awe and a sense of mystery. They serve as powerful reminders of civilizations that once thrived and the enduring human spirit to create and innovate. So fasten your seatbelts as we set off to explore these awe-inspiring marvels of the ancient world. Starting our journey in Egypt, we encounter the Great Pyramid of Giza. This awe-inspiring structure, the last surviving member of the Seven Wonders of the Ancient World, is a magnificent testament to the ingenuity and imagination of a civilization that flourished over 4,000 years ago. Imagine a time when the desert sands were untouched by modern technology, yet an architectural marvel of this scale was brought to life. The Great Pyramid was constructed during the reign of Pharaoh Khufu, dating back to 26th century BC. It's estimated that this architectural wonder was crafted using over 2 million blocks of stone, each weighing an average of two and a half tons. But the Great Pyramid of Giza isn't just about the awe-inspiring statistics. It's about the significance it held for the ancient Egyptians. This colossal structure was more than just a tomb for Pharaoh Khufu. It was a gateway to the afterlife, a symbol of the divine connection between the earthly rulers and their gods. What's more, the Great Pyramid has long intrigued scientists and historians with its accuracy and orientation. Its sides are precisely aligned to the four cardinal points of the compass, showcasing the ancient Egyptians' advanced understanding of mathematics and astronomy. The Great Pyramid of Giza also has an air of mystery. The complex network of chambers within the pyramid, including the iconic king's and queen's chambers, are still being explored and understood. The recent discovery of a hidden void within the pyramid, for instance, has sparked fresh debates and theories about its purpose and construction. In the heart of the desert, standing tall against the sands of time, the Great Pyramid of Giza continues to captivate and inspire. It's a symbol of human ambition, a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians, and a reminder of a civilization that, in many ways, was far ahead of its time. The Great Pyramid of Giza, a testament to the architectural prowess of the ancient Egyptians. Next, let's travel to the mystical Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Picture a lush paradise suspended in midair, a verdant oasis amidst an arid desert. This is the image the Hanging Gardens of Babylon conjures in the minds of many. Built around 600 BC, they are believed to be the work of the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar II, a gift for his homesick wife Amethyst, who missed the green hills and valleys of her homeland. Imagine walls draped with lush greenery, vibrant flowers and exotic plants, a sight so beautiful it was considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. This architectural marvel was said to have been constructed with a complex irrigation system that supplied water from the nearby Euphrates River, a feat that would have been incredibly advanced for its time. But the hanging gardens are shrouded in mystery. Despite ancient texts describing their splendor, no physical evidence of their existence has ever been found in the ruins of Babylon. Some historians argue that they may have been located in Nineveh, another ancient city, while others speculate they may never have existed at all, their story nothing more than a captivating legend. Yet the allure of the Hanging Gardens persists. They symbolize humanity's desire to bend nature to our will, to create beauty in the most unlikely places. They serve as a testament to the imaginative spirit of the ancients, who dreamed of a garden that could defy gravity. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, whether real or imagined, have left an indelible mark on human history. They inspire us to reach for the seemingly impossible, to create beauty where none exists, and to dream of a world that transcends the ordinary. Despite their uncertain existence, the Hanging Gardens continue to inspire awe and wonder. Our journey now takes us to ancient Greece to the statue of Zeus at Olympia. This monumental statue, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, was a sight to behold. Standing at nearly 40 feet tall, 
it was an impressive representation of Zeus, the king of the Greek gods. Crafted by the talented sculptor Phidias, the statue was an embodiment of the grandeur and majesty of Zeus. Phidias used ivory and gold to depict Zeus seated on a magnificent throne, holding a figure of Nike, the goddess of victory, in his right hand, and a scepter, adorned with an eagle, in his left. This colossal piece of art was housed in the Temple of Zeus, which further added to its magnificence. The construction of the statue was no mean feat. It took Phidias about 12 years to complete this masterpiece, from 435 to 423 BC. The statue was so large that it almost touched the ceiling of the temple, giving the impression that if Zeus stood up, he would unroof the temple. The cultural significance of the statue of Zeus cannot be overstated. It was not only a symbol of the Greeks' religious beliefs, but also a testament to their artistic prowess and technological advancement. The statue was a central attraction in Olympia, especially during the Olympic Games, when athletes from all over Greece would come to pay homage to Zeus. In a tragic turn of events, the statue was destroyed in a fire in the 5th century AD. However, its grandeur and significance are still remembered today. The statue of Zeus at Olympia remains a symbol of the artistic excellence of ancient Greece and the reverence the Greeks had for their gods. The statue of Zeus, a magnificent tribute to the king of the Greek gods. We move on to the splendid temple of Artemis at Ephesus. Imagine a structure of breathtaking grandeur, a temple so magnificent that it was considered one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The temple of Artemis at Ephesus was just that, a marvel of architecture and a testament to the devotion of its builders. This temple was dedicated to Artemis, the Greek goddess of the hunt, wild animals, wilderness, childbirth, virginity, and protector of young girls. The citizens of Ephesus, a bustling city in what is now modern-day Turkey, held Artemis in high esteem, and the temple was a vital part of their cultural and religious life. Constructed in the 6th century BC, the Temple of Artemis was an engineering marvel. It was built entirely of marble, a testament to the wealth and power of Ephesus. The temple was four times the size of the Parthenon in Athens and boasted over 127 columns, each standing at a towering 60 feet tall. But it wasn't just the sheer size of the temple that was impressive. The temple was adorned with beautiful sculptures crafted by some of the most renowned artists of the time. These works of art depicted scenes from Greek mythology, adding a layer of cultural richness to the already magnificent structure. The Temple of Artemis was more than just a place of worship. It was a symbol of the city's prosperity, a center for commerce, and a place of refuge for those seeking sanctuary. For centuries it stood as a beacon of civilization and cultural sophistication. However, like all great things, the Temple of Artemis wasn't meant to last. It was destroyed and rebuilt several times before finally succumbing to the ravages of time. Today, only a single column remains, a lonely reminder of the temple's past glory. Yet the Temple of Artemis continues to captivate us. Its memory lives on in the stories we tell, in the history we study, and in the imagination of anyone who has ever marveled at the wonders of the ancient world. The Temple of Artemis, a remarkable symbol of ancient Greek religion and architecture. Next, we visit the Grand Mausoleum at Halicarnassus. A marvel of the ancient world, this architectural masterpiece was constructed in the 4th century BC in what is now Bodrum, Turkey. The mausoleum was built by Artemisia II in memory of her husband Mausolus, a Persian satrap, which is where we get our modern term, mausoleum. Designed by the Greek architects Pythios and Satyros, the mausoleum was a colossal structure standing approximately 140 feet tall. Its base was square, each side measuring about 90 feet, and the top was adorned with a 24-step pyramid. At the very peak, there was a marble chariot, led by four majestic horses, carrying the figures of Mausolus and Artemisia in a last, eternal journey. But the mausoleum was not just a grandiose tomb, it was a fusion of Greek, Egyptian, and Lycian architectural styles, showcasing the cosmopolitan nature of the Hellenistic period. The four sides were decorated with elaborate relief sculptures created by four prominent Greek sculptors, Bryaxis, Scopas, Timotheus, and Leocaris. Perhaps the most fascinating aspect of the mausoleum is its historical significance. It was a symbol of love and power, a monument to a ruler's life, and a testament to the artistic and architectural prowess of the time. Despite its destruction by a series of earthquakes in the 13th to 15th centuries, the mausoleum continues to captivate us, its remnants serving as haunting reminders of the grandeur that once was. 
the mausoleum at Halicarnassus, a monumental testament to love and loss, a place where art, history, and human emotion intertwine, reminding us of the enduring power of love, the fleeting nature of life, and the timeless beauty of art. We now move to the island of Rhodes, to the towering Colossus, a beacon of the ancient world. The Colossus of Rhodes was a statue of the Greek god Helios, built to celebrate a military victory. It was a masterpiece of engineering, standing approximately 110 feet tall, roughly equivalent to the modern Statue of Liberty without its pedestal. The construction of the Colossus was no easy feat. It took approximately 12 years to complete. From 226 BC, an earthquake hit Rhodes and the statue collapsed. The ruins lay in place for over eight centuries. Even in ruins, it fascinated visitors. Pliny the Elder, a Roman author, wrote that few people could wrap their arms around the fallen thumb and that each of its fingers was larger than most statues. The Colossus was more than just a statue. It was a symbol of unity for the Rhodians. After its destruction, the Rhodians received an offer from Ptolemy III of Egypt to rebuild it. However, they declined, believing that the god Helios was displeased and caused the statue to fall. The Colossus of Rhodes, a symbol of strength and resilience, may no longer stand, but its legacy continues to inspire. Its image lives on in modern structures like the Statue of Liberty, reminding us of the grandeur of the ancient world and the enduring power of human ingenuity and spirit. The Colossus of Rhodes, a symbol of strength and resilience. Finally, we arrive at the Lighthouse of Alexandria, one of the earliest lighthouses in existence. This remarkable structure, also known as the Pharos of Alexandria, was a marvel of engineering that held the title of one of the tallest man-made structures for centuries. The design of the Lighthouse of Alexandria was as unique as it was practical. It was divided into three stages, a square lower section with a central core, a middle octagonal section, and, at the top, a circular section. At its apex, a mirror reflected sunlight during the day, while a fire was lit at night. This beacon of light was reputedly visible from up to 35 miles away, guiding mariners safely to the bustling port city of Alexandria. Beyond its function as a navigational aid, the Lighthouse of Alexandria served an even greater purpose. It was a symbol of the city's wealth and technological prowess, a literal beacon that drew scholars, traders, and explorers from around the known world. But this lighthouse was not just a beacon of light, it was a beacon of knowledge. The city of Alexandria was home to the Great Library, the largest and most significant library of the ancient world. The lighthouse and the library together made Alexandria a shining light of civilization, a center of learning and exploration that left a profound and lasting impact on the world. Sadly, the lighthouse of Alexandria did not stand the test of time. Ravaged by a series of earthquakes over centuries, it eventually crumbled into the sea. But its legacy lives on. It inspired the design of many later lighthouses and continues to captivate us with its grandeur, reminding us of the great heights human ingenuity can reach. The Lighthouse of Alexandria, a beacon of knowledge and exploration. As we delve into the annals of history, we're reminded of this architectural marvel that once stood tall, guiding the way not just for ships, but for the pursuit of knowledge and the spirit of exploration that defines humanity. And with that, we've journeyed through the seven ancient wonders of the world. We began our journey in Egypt, home to the Great Pyramid of Giza, the only one of the seven wonders still standing today. This colossal structure, built as a tomb for the Pharaoh Khufu, continues to inspire awe and curiosity. Next, we found ourselves in the mythical Hanging Gardens of Babylon, a lush paradise said to have been created by King Nebuchadnezzar II for his homesick wife. Though its existence remains a mystery, the Hanging Gardens continue to captivate our imaginations. Our journey then took us to Greece, where we marveled at the statue of Zeus at Olympia, a towering figure seated on a grand throne, and the Temple of Artemis at Ephesus, a magnificent edifice dedicated to the Greek goddess of hunting and wilderness. From there, we traveled to the mausoleum at Halicarnassus, a grand tomb built by Artemisia for her husband Mausolus, a testament to a queen's enduring love. We then journeyed to the island of Rhodes, where the colossal statue known as the Colossus of Rhodes once stood as a beacon of hope and strength. Finally, we reached the shores of Alexandria, where the lighthouse once guided countless mariners to safety. This towering structure was a symbol of human ingenuity and the power of light in the darkness. Each of these wonders, whether still standing or existing only in the annals of history, tells a story. 
they are tales of human aspiration, ingenuity, and the relentless pursuit of beauty and grandeur. They remind us that we are part of a long line of dreamers, builders, and explorers, connected through time by the enduring power of human creativity. Now, we would love to hear from you. Which ancient wonder of the world is located in your country? Share with us in the comments below.